Welcome to Bible Talk TV today. I am Evangelist Derek L. Brown, minister at the San Diego Church of Christ. Bible Talk is geared to bring you only that which can be found in the scriptures. Bible Talk is geared to bring you Bible evidence. This is Bible Talk, and that's what we will do. Bible Talk, a presentation of the San Diego Church of Christ. There is an infinite distance between God's thinking and behavior and human thinking and behavior. God's moral standard is radically different from human beings' moral standards. For example, God forbids exposing parts of the body that should be covered. But many human beings promote indecent exposure of the body in musical videos, carnival, X-rated movies, pornographic magazines, and the clothing industry. Genesis chapter 3 verses 7 and 21. Exodus chapter 20 verse 26, Exodus chapter 28 verses 42 through 43, Luke chapter 17 verses 1 through 2. God forbids indecent bodily movements for wantonness in Romans chapter 13 verse 13 is from the Greek word aselgeia which includes the meaning of moving the body to cause lust, fornication, and adultery to take place. But many human beings love dance hall music and gyrate and wind their bodies to the music. God forbids sex before marriage, but many human beings engage in sex before marriage freely. In a 1991 census obtained from the Statistical Institute of Jamaica, 83 couples, 83% 83 of couples in Jamaica at that time were registered as being unmarried. The age of consent right now in Jamaica to sexual relations is 16 years old. But nothing is said in this law about abstaining from sex until such time when a man and a woman has been married. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 18, 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 2, and Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Condoms do not make fornication or adultery right, but many human beings think so. God forbids people of the same gender from engaging in sex and from getting married to each other. But a growing number of countries have legalized homosexuality and same-sex marriage. Romans chapter 1, verses 26 through 27. God forbids abortion, but some countries have legalized it. Jeremiah chapter 1, verses 4 through 5. God wants fathers and mothers to train their children by example and by teaching to be godly. That is to have the greatest respect for God. But most parents train their children by example and by teaching to be ungodly. If all parents were to follow God's higher way of thinking and behaving, all of the problems in society would be solved. There would be no unwanted and abandoned children, no abused children, no abused women, no gangs, no stealing nor robbing, no murders, no rapes, no hiking of prices at the gas pumps when the cost of gasoline should have gone down. No cursing of bad words. No poor person not getting help. No sick person 
being turned away from a hospital because they cannot afford the cost, the high cost of health care. Malachi chapter 2 verse 15, Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6, and Deuteronomy chapter 6 verses 4 through 9. Therefore the sixth reason God has the authority to decide what is right and wrong for everyone everywhere is that he thinks and behaves differently from how human beings think and behave. His thinking and behavior is infinitely higher than human thinking and behavior. The seventh reason God has the authority to decide what is right and wrong for everyone everywhere is that God is going to judge everyone everywhere by what he has said in the Holy Scriptures. John chapter 12 verse 48 reads, He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words hath one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him on the last day. Jesus is speaking in John chapter 12 verse 48. Therefore Jesus' teachings, which are found in the Holy Scriptures, will be the standard to measure who has been obedient to God and who has been disobedient to God. Those who have been disobedient to God because they have followed some other standard and who have not repented and returned to God to follow His standard are not going to be allowed to enter into the kingdom of heaven. No other worldviews will be the standard. Not atheism, not humanism, not hedonism, not Islam, not Hinduism, not Buddhism. No other worldviews will be the standard but only Jesus Christ's teachings, which were given to him by God the Father to teach all nations, that alone will be the standard by which people of all nations will be judged. Therefore, the seventh reason God has the authority to decide what is right and wrong for everyone everywhere is that God is going to judge everyone everywhere by what he has said through his son Jesus Christ in the Holy Scriptures. So then I have shared with you seven reasons God has the authority to decide what is right and wrong for everyone everywhere. The first reason the one true God has the authority to decide what is right and wrong for everyone everywhere is that he has created from the first human being every nation on the earth so that everyone everywhere may search for him, feel for him, and find him. Acts chapter 17 verses 26 through 27. The second reason the one true God has the authority to decide what is right and wrong for everyone everywhere is that the whole duty of human beings is to fear God and keep his commandments. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13. The third reason God has the authority to decide what is right and wrong for everyone everywhere is that he rules over all nations. Psalm 47 verses 7 and 8. The fourth reason God has the authority to decide what is right and wrong for everyone everywhere is that he rules over all governments. Daniel chapter 4, Deuteronomy chapter 17 verses 18 through 20, and Romans chapter 13 verse 4. The fifth reason God has the authority to decide for everyone everywhere what is right and wrong is that he knows everything, but human beings know very little. Psalm 147 verse 5, Isaiah chapter 40 verses 13 through 14 and 28, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 25, 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 17. The sixth reason God has the authority to decide for everyone everywhere what is right and wrong 
is that he thinks and behaves on an infinitely higher level than how all human beings think and behave. Isaiah chapter 55 verses 8 through 9. The seventh reason God has the authority to decide what is right and wrong for everyone everywhere is that he is going to judge everyone everywhere by what he has said in the Holy Scriptures. John chapter 12 verse 48. What you need to do is to set aside your own views which go against what God wants you to do and to do what God commands you to do. You need to let God be in charge of your life by following what he teaches through his son Jesus Christ in the Holy Scriptures. You need to put your faith in Jesus who took the blame and the punishment of all of your disobedience to God when he suffered and died on the cross. Put your faith in Jesus who was raised by God from the dead to give you the power to do what God wants you to do and to give you the hope of everlasting life. You need to make known your faith by saying that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, or the Lord, then you need to be buried with Jesus Christ in baptism and to be raised up with Him to live a new life of obedience to God. Your past offenses against God will be forgiven.